Hi, I'm Peter Drankles from DrivingUpSales.com, and as always, you guys are fantastic. I wanted to thank you for tuning in to Ask the Expert, exclusively done for DealerBiz.com. Now, here's the question of the week from Graham Lauer, a sales associate at Ira Toyota in Milford, Massachusetts. So he wrote, I've read Joe Girard's book on how to sell anything to anyone. Certainly the idea that you should make as many contacts as possible is key. The challenge is that things have changed since he was in the car business. The laws have changed and there are many different ways to contact new people now. With that in mind, my question is, what is the best way to cold contact people now? What is the new page torn out of the phone book and the new, are you in the market for a new car? It's a great question, Graham. It's a good observation on the industry as well. Well, in today's world, Joe would probably be paying hefty fines and sitting behind bars using some of his methods. Cold calling with the do not call laws is just too risky and it has very serious consequences. In fact, most dealers have you attend a class or a seminar just so they can prove that you knew the risks and you took them on your own. So cold calling is out. I will also tell you that cold calling in B2C sales, business to customer sales, were really only effective with home renovations and home use goods. So don't sit there thinking that the do not call list ruined your life in car sales. As a salesperson, it's always been about networking, referrals, continuous contact with clients, and for the past five years, salespeople have stopped investing in their network and their contacts, sending out birthday cards, thank you cards, or even quarterly newsletters. It's a lost art. Even more amazing is that salespeople got so lazy to capture emails that they could keep in touch with customers without the cost of stamps. You know, now that the market shrunk, everybody is scrambling to find prospects. Well, Joe's approach may not work anymore, but its methods still apply. Zig Ziglar believed in suspect prospect. Capture every suspect, turn them into a prospect, then turn every prospect into a sale. The worst part about selling your best prospect is having to find a new one. So in today's market, it's difficult to be the aggressive hunter. The are you in the market for a car question now is, hey, I'm in the car business. If you need me or if you need some help, here's where you can find me. The game is having a system with a series of traps that brings clients to you when they're ready. With the internet, web 2.0, and all these social media networks out there, there's more effective tools available to build your brand and network beyond anything Joe could have imagined. Not only that, he'd probably be selling cars instead of writing books because these leads are already in a want and need position. They're pre-qualified and don't need a lot of convincing to buy the car. All they really want to do is find someone they feel comfortable with to finalize a transaction. Could you imagine a world without I'm just looking, I need to talk to my wife or my husband, we need to think about it? Well, here it is. There are three parts you need to do this. Number one, social networking online and in real life. Number two, lead generation websites and advertising. And number three, you have to have a selling, follow-up, and referral system. So you use the social networking sites to build your network as well as allowing people at random to find out about you and who you are. This is your pipeline. The more contacts you have, the more prospects you can create. Lead generation websites, yes, plural. They're very cost-effective ways to create your own leads. The majority of people who are looking for cars would love to find a professional salesperson that can help them bypass the hassle and rhetoric associated with buying a car. It is a nice problem to have when you have more leads than you can handle. Now having a selling follow-up and referral system, this is the real power to keeping up with your machine. Most dealers have a CRM that you can uh, use and helps you get organized. Your dealership should also have a referral program so you've got the tools in place. It's like a big spider web. Everything funnels into your website and gets processed into a prospect, then a sale. The best part about the system is there's no more cold calling. The people who are funneling in into your system want what you have to offer and are ready to buy. Here's a good way to do it. You have to look at these social media sites as one giant party. You can't run up to everyone and hand them a business card and try and sell them a car. You have to lure them in through your conversation, ideas, and a value that you can provide to them. Welcome to Calling Web 2.0, Graham. I invite anyone who has any questions to send me an email to info at drivingupsales.com. I'd be more than happy to respond with a video like this. Once again, I thank you for tuning in to Ask the Expert, brought to you by dealersbiz.com. I'm Peter Dranklitz from drivingupsales.com. Remember, the only thing that's stopping you is you. Keep driving up sales.